Hello students, today I am going to cover 25th session of computer application in business subject for 5th sem BBA affiliated to Bangalore North University. Uh, today's topic will be Microsoft Word. The recap of the previous class. In the previous class, we have learned about information systems and the various levels of the management. The learning objectives of the chapter. The objective of this unit is to make understand the students about Microsoft and its usages. So we are going to learn about how to work on the Microsoft Word and what are the uh, its features, its usages, its advantages we are going to learn here. Session outcomes. The students will be able to understand the features of Microsoft Word. Word processing. Word processing is one of the most popular application of the computer. It is used for creating and manipulating text documents. Word processing means process of manipulation of text using computers. It includes entering, editing, formatting, saving and manipulation of text on computer screen and printing of the processed text. So word processing will help us to create a document. So when we are doing the document, entering the information, editing the information, formatting the information, saving the information and making any manipulation will be very easier on the computer screen as well as we can have a, we can take a print of the document. MS Word uh, is a short form for Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is a word processing software developed by Microsoft Corporation USA. It is the most popular word processing software in the world today. Its purpose is to allow users to type and save documents. It allows to create professional quality documents, reports, letters and resumes. The one who is working on the computer, Microsoft Word has become a part of the user. So um, most of the work when we are preparing the documents, uh, Word will be very, very useful to make a quality document or whether it is a report, whether it is a letter or a resume to uh, enter, to edit, to do a change, to save the document, to send it to anybody, Microsoft Word a word processing software is helping a lot for everyone. Let's see what are the features of uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, it changes the font size. The uh, very important feature of Microsoft Word is it will help us to change the font color. So when we are using uh, the words or the letters uh, or the numbers in the document, any font color we want, we can change. So this, this can be done very easily in the word. Change the line space. Uh, the line space between the sentence, between the lines, between the paragraphs in a sheet, any spacing uh, uh, um, change we want, we can do it. We can increase the line space. We can decrease the line space according to our requirement, which can be done very easily. And the, uh, the procedure of increasing or decreasing the line space also is very simple. Choose the best font. The various fonts, hundreds of fonts, are, uh, font uh, styles are there. Whichever font we want for our requirement, for our best use, we can choose uh, from the uh, various fonts available in the Microsoft Word. Change the background color. The background color anything if we want to change we can change. So there are uh, various colors and the color options are so many according to our requirement we can do the change of the color. Removing the hyperlinks in the copy text. When we copy the text if any hyperlinks are there easily we can re remove when we copy and paste those text information, highlighting or contrasting the informa important information. So any information, if we want to highlight, we want to make it a very prominent, then we can do the highlighting of it by uh, going for a different color or increasing 
making a bold or uh, changing the color changing the uh, font anything we can do with the microsoft word convert a list to a table uh, the various information in our document if it can be uh, numericals it can be alphabetic or words so any information we want we can change it to a table by inserting various rows and columns convert a bulleted list to a smart art we have a smart art option so any bulleted list information we have to make it a better presentable uh, document we can use smart art create a custom tab according to our requirement we can create a custom tab quick selection methods when we want to select a word or a sentence or a line or a paragraph or, or a sheet where there are various methods for selection very quickly we can do the selection to copy it to cut it or to paste it elsewhere changing the case uh, uh, changing the case is an option given in microsoft word if we want to change the uh, uh, letters into uh, capitals or into a uh, um, smaller letters the change of case we can directly use remove background on an image on an image any background if we want to uh, remove we can remove use the synonymous function so any synonymous function if we require that is we want to check out the synonymous when we are doing a document the synonymous function will help us to find out very easily using the dictionary when we want to be grammatically correct we want to have a spell check we want to see the uh, meaning of something we have dictionary given where the dictionary will help us to find out the meaning for that particular word parts of a word uh, a word window we have menu bar we have tools bar we have scroll bars uh, document window uh, ruler and status bar let's see what's a menu bar menu bar is displayed on top of the screen just below the title bar uh, the menu uh, begins with the word file and continues with edit view insert format tools tables window and help menu is used to give the instructions to the software so when we are going for a menu bar we can uh, big, uh, when we start a word file it continues with we will have edit option we will have view we can insert we can format we can tools uh, tables etc so any editing we can we can go view just check it out inserting a word or a table or anything we can do it with the help of menu bar tools bar originally it was called as a ribbon a tool bar is a set of icons or buttons that are part of a software program interface or an open window microsoft word has a toolbar with icons that allow you to open save and print document as well as change the font text uh, size and style of a text the toolbar contains buttons for frequent used commands so which all are frequently we use whether we want to open a document we want to save a document we want to print a document any change we want to do it in the font size uh, size of the font or any style this particular tool bars will help us to do it easily scroll bars a bar that appears on the side or a button bottom of a window to control which part of a list or a document is currently in the windows frame the scroll bar makes it easy to move to any part of a file the sole purpose of a standard scroll bar is to enable the user to generate scrolling request for viewing the entire content of the client area there are two types of scroll bars a head scroll bar for a horizontal scroll scroll bars and b scroll bars for vertical scroll bars that is we have horizontal scroll scroll bars and we have vertical scroll bars document window a document window is a section of the screen used to display the contents of a document file on a graphical user interface operating system ruler a ruler sets margins and indents it also permits 
changing margins and indents of a paragraph to turn the rulers off click ruler on view menu word stops displaying the ruler on the screen if we want to restore it click ruler again on a view menu status bar the status bar displays the status information at the bottom of the document on the bottom of the document it is going to show the status of that particular status information of a document let's go to multiple multiple choice question uh, question number 1 microsoft word is an example of option a an operating system option b an input device option c a processing device option d application correct answer option c a processing device second question which of the following is a hardware and not a software option e excel option b printer driver option c operating system option d control unit correct answer option d control unit next question which toolbar displays the buttons for align sorry which toolbar displays the buttons for alignment and font size in word option a formatting toolbar option b standard toolbar option c drawing toolbar option d graphic toolbar correct answer option a formatting toolbar next question which of the following is an example of word processing option a ms word option b ms dos option c ms excel option d ms access correct answer option a ms word next question a set of instructions telling the computer what to do is called option a program option b compiler option c instructor option d mentor correct answer option a program for preparing the ppts and study material the following references were made thank you